So it may be a time for a bit of true confession about the speed trap. You know, it's been a tremendously successful product and uh, we've been really trying to stay up to date with all the videos and so forth. And you may have seen this one where we turn on the shot tracer and I hit this nice uh, little draw that we all want. That was not the first swing. That was like take number seven or eight. And what I want to reveal to you is what the speed trap did for me before that. Um, because I, I set it up, I, everything, action, ready, go, whatever. And the first swing, I've, I laid it off at the top, you'll see that. And I hit the inside left rod with the shaft of my driver. It wasn't the head, it was the shaft of the driver because I had lowered it coming through impact. I was, I was baffled by it. I stood up a little taller. Uh, it began to take away some of that layoff position because that's where it came from in the first place. And then I started coming through it in a, in a better position, except mm -hmm. that I was trying to hit a little bit of a draw. And you'll see I hit that back out top, I call it the top right rod with, I didn't kill it, I didn't, but I, I was hitting it and I hit it pretty solid. Next swing, I'm trying to revise it, I'm trying to come from the inside. Hit it again less, hit it again a little bit less. Maybe the fourth or fifth time, I just nicked it. And then I started hitting the purest draws uh, that I can time after time after time after time. Amazing. The speed trap, if you're a better player, regardless uh, of your skill set, will help you do two things. It will reveal a fault that you may be having that you didn't know you had. I didn't know I had this. And it will also help you burn in an image that, of the shot shape that you want, or the, the path that you want to create the shot shape that you want. Amazing. You know, we've had a bunch of tour players put it into their practice routine, and I'm always baffled by it. These are the best players in the world. Why would you want to take a product that's so fundamentally basic? And the answer that they give me is, I'm always looking for a visual. Those are those players. Second, though, they want to make sure that their visual for their secondary shot if they, if they traditionally hit a draw, they try to hit it every time. Occasionally they have to cut it and, and vice versa. They want to burn in the image of that particular path as, as bright as they possibly can. Can they cut it with their hands? Yes. Is it controllable? Not as much as they want, apparently, and maybe that's the case for you. If you're a better player, you realize that the thing that matters, the path of the club matters, especially the longer the club, right? Um, but, but you don't want to manipulate it with the hands and it, you certainly don't want to open the face with your hands because then you're, hitting, you're losing a lot of impact, squareness, and a lot of distance. If you're beginning and you're trying to get this right, let the speed trap really show you the line and give you the feed path, path the feedback, if you're not doing it quite right. It was amazing to me. It is a lesson I won't soon forget and I'll throw that speed trap down every time I get, especially when I get to the driver in the bag, because I got to make sure I'm coming at it from the inside and picking up those extra yards.